10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. Love, 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 welcome to the Banter Club. I join myself, Mark, along with Ty, Jackie, and Mahal as we talk all things sport. We will definitely trash your team, and if you don't like it, we'll definitely tell you your favorite footballer is a tax evader. Join us every week on the Banter Club. Welcome to it, welcome to it, welcome to it. Here's another episode of the Banter Club, episode number 15. And uh, we are back with a bag, making sure that you know what's happening all around the world in terms of the latest sporting news. And uh, my name is T.Y. a.k.a. Abuti Broadway. I'm never rolling alone. I'm joined by Mohao. Mohao, how are you doing, man? I'm good, thanks. How are you, man? I'm absolutely amazing. I'm joined by the legal expert, Yaka. In case I need a lawyer. (laughs) <laughs> I'm calling this guy. Jackie, what up? Yeah, I'm good. And yourself? I'm absolutely amazing, man. I'm absolutely amazing. Uh, we also joined by another guest today by the name of Upumelele Ace Bengu, who was born on the 19th of November, 1989. If you don't know who he is, a South African footballer who plays as a winger or center forward, Kuma Chama Ndela. Uh, hey, this gent has such an impressive CV. He's played for Morocco Swallows during his youth years. He played for Mpumalanga Black Aces, Chipper United, Tanda Royal Zulu, Super Sports United, Royal Eagles, Real Kings, and he's currently at TTM. Ace, how you doing, man? Thank you, Makai. Thanks for having me tonight. I'm good. Ah, uh, good night. Good night. Good night. So we're going to kickstart off the show with a nice quiz just to make sure that everybody is, you know, breaking the ice, Gangani. A few things about the PSL and... Uh, yeah, just to make sure that uh, everything's all good. We're good. So we've got Ace. Who's Ace playing against? They're going to play against Jackie or Rosalala against Umohao? Ketuiwa. I, I think I'll go for Jackie. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Unlock right. Mohao. Unlock my guy. Jackie. Jackie. All right. Cool stuff. All right. Are you gents ready? Mkalanje, sure. when, uh, when I ask the question, I just need you to say your name. After you say your name, you're allowed to answer. Whoever says their name first gets uh, to answer the question. If you get it wrong, we'll pass it on. Best of five questions. Uh, Jackie, you know you're representing the Better Club. Please don't disappoint, yeah? <laughs> when I, ho- I just hope your question is not difficult. I was told to make them difficult. I was told to make them difficult. <laughs> but we're going to start with a, with a very, very easy one. Um, uh, a club by the name of Pretoria City was purchased by Mnet and it is now called Supersport United. Which year did Mnet buy Pretoria City? It's so easy. Uh, 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 I okay, I'm gonna guess. Uh, uh, 1994. That's correct, actually. It is 1994. It actually is 1994, Jackie. You're 110% correct. Yep, it's correct. Okay, I want to go to Let me let me let me try and loosen it up. Let me try and loosen it up. All right. Um in the in the PSL. Hey, PSL has been around for a very, 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 very long. Uh who was the first South African coach to win the PSL? Jackie. Um, I no, Jackie. no, no. I'm, I'm just. I, I, I'm, I'm going to try again. I'm going to get a guess. Uh, uh, I'm probably wrong. Uh, no, is it? No, it can't be. Gordon Nicholson. I'm probably wrong. Nah. Hey. <laughs> I'm probably it, wrong. It is good. It is just a guess. It is good. 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 It
Jiggy is lying to us here. Yeah. Busy saying he's guessing. Yeah, ah, Jiggy, eh? Papa. Why do you know Jiggy. the answers? Ah, Jiggy, come on. How do I know the answers? You've got the memorandum. I'm just guessing. Only you check, you check your guess. Ah, okay, 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 let me... okay, okay. Let's go to the third one. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the third one. Let's go to the third one. Ah, uh, Ace of Eight. If you guess this one right, I know. I know. Ah, ah, he, he's ah. won it. He's definitely, mm. definitely won it. Okay. Um, so, so the FA Cup, known as uh, the Netbank Cup, right? Who was the very first team to win it when it switched to the Netbank Cup from the APSA ah. Cup? Ace. 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 Netbank ah, Cup of Gala. Ah, I see. Ah, yeah, it. Let's see it. Come with your guesses. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. I'm trying. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Uh, let's think. Uh, can it be that team, though? Uh, uh, I'm going to guess. The one. Mama Lee Sandow? No. Take all this. Really? Ah, you know, they beat Vid Bank Spurs. That goal we had Rato Shabangu. It was one nil. Ah, ah dude. Uh, this is, ah, but you see, Pumalanga Black Aces. Yes, they beat Pumalanga Black Aces. Uh, Mamre Di Sundowns won it. But I think Mamre Di Sundowns. Yes, I ah, said you're okay, correct. Yeah. I think oh, maybe okay, get a card. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I'm you, saying, you, must be, you must be audible, dude. Yeah. You must be very much audible. Askies. <laughs> Askies. <laughs> you must be very audible. <laughs> okay, so um, we all know that Lichrobla won the, the Leslie Mayatella Golden Boot in 2020 2021, right? Mm. So, question who won it last season? Uh, it's Ace. it was Mohangu of Orlando Pirates and Peter Charlie. Ah, my man, Orlando. absolutely <laughs> correct. Yes, they shared I had to give you, I had to give you that season. one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you, Jake. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's this true one, it's not bad. Okay, last last question, right? Last, this one is just for humor. Pure humor. I wish Una was here. <laughs> Who was the last Kaza Chiefs player to win the golden boot? Bernard yeah. Park. Jakey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because you said the ad, ah, obvious. Give it to me, ah, obvious. You said the ad. Yeah, let's, 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 let's give it to A. Let's just give it to A. Give it to A. Oh, give it yeah. to A. Right behind you, <laughs> Peter Park. <laughs> ah, it's, it's, we'll, we'll, we'll give you this one. We'll definitely give you this one. But yeah, it, it is Bernard Parker in the 2013 2014 season. Hi. Thank you. Three times. Not bad. Right, not bad. <laughs> Right, that was fun. That was fun. That was fun. Hey, so you should have right. chosen me. Now you are gonna go for my five nil, Baba. I, I don't I even know, know any I answer. I, I I always love competition. I... You know me very well. <laughs> so that's why I didn't choose you. But I don't want to walk. You must never choose me. <laughs> yeah, no, you must never choose. Uh, if you choose me, you can have a problem. His guesses are always <laughs> right. <laughs> it's because he knows all the answers. He's not guessing. <laughs> yeah, All right, let's, let's kick start mm. this. I really want to talk to, to Ace. Ace in Fetu. Let's talk. Um, yep. you, you won the NFD's Golden Boot Award. Um, yep. And then immediately after that, you turned down offers from Kaiser Chiefs and Mamluri Sundowns to go and yep. join Super Sport United. Why shall it decision in Fetu? Yeah, the Sundowns and the Chiefs for Super Sport. Uh, it was a simple one. Uh, Super Sport show, showed more interest in me than the two other clubs that you have mentioned. Uh, I, I'll just make an example of, of Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs, they were in between. They are not sure. Kobe wanted to sign me. But mm. when he signed me, I must come and train with the team. Then the coach at that time was short back. He had to make a decision if I stay in the team or they loan me out to Golden Arrows. So I couldn't mm. go for that. I couldn't go for that. That's, uh, that's what happened with Kaiser Chiefs. And then with Sandown, Sisom Simane was 
was not sure, even him. He wanted me, but at the same time, he was not sure. So Super Sports, uh, they were the consistent team in terms of uh, of the race, because Gentleman Tuesday is the one who was calling me now and then about five times in a day, because at that time I was in the national team with the Bafana going to play a So that's why I chose Super Sport. And even so, for me choosing Super Sport, it was the case of they are selling Brokey to Sundowns. So I will be the direct replacement for Brokey. So for me, going to the Super Sport, I knew very well I was going to be in the starting level for them. So that's why I chose Super Sport. It tends otherwise when I'm there, because Brokey didn't leave the team. So it was a different story, but that's why I chose Super Sport. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, um, Ace, you are talking about um, moving to Super Sport. I mean, recently, um, well, last season, rather this season, you joined, when was it? Um, 2020, you joined um, Swilos uh, from TTM. Um, yeah. Can we talk about <laughs> now? Where are you? And then what's happening with you right now? Yeah, uh, let's move. I think I chose Swilos, it was January mid-season. It was the best move of, of my career, going to mm-hmm. Swallows, because at the end of the, of the season, I won promotion with them, which uh, for me, it was a fulfillment because I, when I left Swallows, I always had that gap because I haven't done so much for, for the team while the team has done everything for me during my mm-hmm. youth, during giving me the breakthrough in the PSL. So it was a fulfilling uh, a feeling to promote the team back to the PSL when the team uh, deserves to be. But at the same time, it's a disappointment because after that, the team didn't offer me a PSL contract for the reason that even now, I'm sure even you, you won't believe me. But I have to say, in telling people they don't believe me, the coach said to me, some of the uh, board members, they are not sure about me when the team goes to the PSL, but if the team stays in NFT, surely they will offer me a PSL contract. And then it happened that we promoted the team. After that, I called the CEO of uh, Super Cool and asked him, what is happening? Because the guys are signing PSL contracts. What about me? He said, the coach said he's not sure about you. So he on the list of the players that he's not going to give them PSL contract. So after that, uh, it's been a downscale, Makai. It's been a downscale. Mm. I uh, didn't have a job for like six months. After that, I joined a team uh, called The Room in Vodokomi in Johannesburg. And then after two months, uh, they let go of me. Uh, then I joined Pondo Cheese for the last three months of this campaign NFT, and eventually the team got relocated. So that was my last team, Pizza uh, Pondo Cheese in Tevez. So now mm. I'm taking to just uh, recruiting, trying to mm-hmm. see where the next job uh, will be for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. But I would also want to talk about your experience when it comes to the under twenty, under twenty three rather. Um, you've been mm-hmm. part of the team when you went and play for Afcon. And how was that experience? And especially looking at the under twenty three, the current one as well, um, they are they will be participating within the uh, Tokyo Olympics. No, 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 for me, to play in the youth uh, national ranks, it, it's been a great experience. I always tell these youngsters in football now that you cannot be big headed for being or for playing club foot. You don't know how special you are once you play for national team, national team set up, or even Mafana Mafan, that's where you feel that you are special. You're one of the special ones or uh, footballers in in the country. So it's a it's a very wonderful experience to be to be there. So for the under twenty three now going to the Olympics, David Notwan is team. They, they've got a very experienced coach, David Notwan. I've had the privilege of working with him. Mm-hmm. In the under 23, and uh, Sheikh Mashavi was his assistant coach. So he, he, he is a very experienced coach. He knows his story. So I, I believe the guy that he has selected, because he's got a lot, a lot of talented players, 
And the best thing about those players are the players that are playing now in the PSL. When I talk about the, the, the table home corner from Super Sports, this guy, the red player is matured. You can see he's matured in every sort or, or any aspect of the game. So that will help him to go and compete, not to add numbers in the Olympics, but to go and compete for the goals. And you talk about players like uh, 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 the centre back from Chipa, and very experienced defender in the season yes. campaign at Chipa. So those kind of players, they will bring experience among the team. And up front, you talk about uh, Fakri Lake, uh, city of uh, Cape Town City. Cape Town city He's scoring yeah. goals. The guy yeah. is hungry. You can see, and he's been in the national team uh, set up. And he's been in the Bafana Bafana as well. Uh, goalkeeper, you talk about Ricardo Cos. He's been in the national team set up. Now he's there, stand down, he's getting changes now and then. You talk about the keeper from Colin Arrows, who has been their, their, their first choice. He, he's got a good of bunch players. They now need to gel as a team so that they will have an understanding going to the Olympics. Every boy's dream to go and showcase your talent because the scouters are there. For yes. them, the sky's yes. the limit is to go there and, and, and showcase their talent and make sure they play as a team. And the rest will come after. What you need as a nation is a goal, not to go there and, and just be part of it, but to go there and compete. That's what mm. you need. That's mm. accurate, man. Yes, yes, you just said with the sky's the limit. Hey, you know what? You just <laughs> went to the sky's the limit. <laughs> now, uh, to, it's <laughs> uncle you you from KZN sure. Puminatal, ne? Now sure. you speak Zulu like you you sound like a real deep rooted Zulu man. How do you deal with the language barrier yourself in Pop? I mean, I'm sure they speak Venda, they speak Pedi, uh Tsonga. Mm-hmm. You communicate Aganja? Ah, uh, but it's easy. Pera, we must know one thing. Football lang football language is one. So for me, you know, I, 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 I uh, what I'll say, I, I've came to choose this. When I was 18, I believe, with the under 15 of Swallows. So mm-hmm. then from the academy, I used to stay with Abu Ramat and Pasela. They're from uh, the other side, <laughs> the Mpopo <Yeah>. side. <laughs> so, yeah. crazy, you see? so I've been meeting with a lot of people who are different language to me. You know, my problem, even more how knows, is to answer back. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I get the problem. But to hear, ah, uh, can hear passi properly. Passi Paula, I call him. I call him. I call him. I call him. That's it. I will put it there in me when I pass it forward to the score. But in the end, ah, it's so easy. It's so easy for me. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, as you can say something in Chivenda, you know, it's pretty, you know, for us. <laughs> Tell me something. So you play as the winger and as the centre forward. When I, which position do you prefer? Because I know every single they prefer. Mm, mm. I think I say I, I'm an all-rounder. I can play in any position. Because in the World Cup under 20, Michael Martin has pleased us. I play the whole World mm. Cup as a right back. So my preferred position, I hope you my guy, strike. I, I was born to score goals. As long as I see the poles and the net, I'm very happy. So put me next to the poles, I'm good. That's my position, center forward. So would you, which uh, center forward do you look up to? Oh, for the core. For the core, I'm the best. It's just that they, now and then, as they, they differ, or they, they uh, I would say, it, it goes to according to a centre forward who is doing well at that particular season. Because I look up to Cristiano Ronaldo, I look up to Lewandowski from Bayern Munich, I look up to Cavalli from Manchester, the way he spins off the defender, the way he stays, the way he finishes. I look up to Aguero, a, a lot. I don't have a specific one, but when I watch TV, I make sure I walk. I, I watch the center forward, their movements, the way they finish. 
for me, when I watch football, it's not just watching football, but it's part of training, it's part of learning mm -hmm. while I'm enjoying the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, I mean, we, we spoke about the under-23 name, um, and remember, 23 that you are part with, uh, part, Part and parcel. Um, remember, you, I think you, you played alongside Bo Abu um, mm -hmm. That under twenty three um, was seen as the the future Bafana Bafana team, and I think mm -hmm. since then we seems to lack um, that team. We haven't really um, gotten that um, perfect under twenty three that might be the future uh, Bafana Bafana. That maybe they might be. Uh, they might take us to. We might win Af Afcon with them, or yeah. maybe uh, get to participate within the FIFA World Cup. Would do you think that um, the current one that we have, as much as we haven't seen much of them, um, are they are, are they the ones that are gonna be then the future of Fana Fana that we are hoping to see? Well, how I will say yes and no. My yes is that just take you back to our under twenties not under 23, under, uh, under 20. When we went to the World Cup in Egypt with the legs of Manta Masangu, Samik Doti, Andy Lechali, Kamuelo Mkoto, Tulan Terrell. We went there, we, uh, I think we the only group in the national setup that has managed to, to pass the group stages and go to the quarterfinals of any competition, I believe so. So after that, there was no continuity. They didn't give us that opportunity because when he came back from the under 20s, everything of ours, experience-wise, the confidence-wise was very high. I'll give you an example. Ghana, the Ghanaian team, they won that World Cup. The left of IU, IU brothers, of John Mensah, uh, Inku, the right back. They took all the, those guys apart. Uh, Eighty percent of the team, they play the Afcon. Uh, I think after the following year they play the Afcon. I don't know where it was it. So with Ghana there was continuity of mm. what mm. the under twenties uh, did. But with us South Africans, I think the next Afcon there was even none of us representing mm. South Africa from that World Cup. So it happened with the under twenty threes as well. After the under twenty threes they faded away because there was no continuity. Even now, the, 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 the talent that David Notuan has got, the legs of Foster, who's playing in Monaco, I still he plays there, the legs of Sebo Homko and of Supersport, I'll mention them again, because the guy is doing good. If there's no continuity, them progressing to Bafana Bafana, coming back from the Olympics, because I'm sure you can even take the whole first 11 who will be playing there, to put them in the Bafana Bafana setup. In that way, you build them, but you're building with the guys who've got experience, who their confidence is very high, who are been playing in the PSL week in, week out. In that way, South Africa can be a better country, can do better in terms of competing in the AFCON, even qualifying for the World Cup. But if that won't happen, if this talent that we've got, David Notwan has produced, have shown, and still going to show in the Olympics, then we are doomed as a country, like it happened to us. Yeah, no, I agree with you. That's definitely, definitely mm -hmm. true. I think the burning question when I uh, announced that we we're going to be interviewing you, the one question I got is, what happened at Cheaper United? I think you were there for two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. What are you seeing it at? Cheaper United. Ah, Cheaper. I Cheaper. <laughs> With ah, Emma. I keep <laughs> ah, I keep I keep. You, you know, you know, you know what happened to that guy? That guy can sleep today liking you. Waking up tomorrow doesn't want to in this year. So that's what happened with me. <laughs> that's what happened with me. I woke up the next day going to training. They stopped me from entering the floor. They said I must go to the office. When I called there, they said the team is released. So that's what How? happened. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that, my yeah. There's no reason, no any explanation. Yo, we now understand. understand we now understand yeah. why they they're going to the playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> it is exactly. to be there. Even further than that. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we feel the same way there. Hey, I feel like they should have dipped a little bit. 
Yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing shocking about sheep, Anji. Oh. Eh? I'm saying there's nothing shocking about sheep, Anji. You know it's full of surprises. Uh, but my guy, <laughs> the, the team has been in the PSL for a couple of years. You should learn from your mistakes. And don't run a team like his father. So I always say these to people. And they don't want to listen. Don't run a team like his father. <laughs> oh, sheep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, um, well, speaking about a team, today has been a busy day. Um, recently, well, not long ago, but finally, finally managed to yeah, beat no, uh, def- Uganda three nil. Um, great victory. Um, from what I've seen, um, but my concern or rather my focus hasn't been on the win but on the players that were used um within the team i was so excited to see um younger players um being used i mean the i think the oldest players were only two which were born in 1992 probably 28 years um i mean let's talk about those two goal scorers um but 21 years of age both of them um mahopa celebrated his birthday i think when was it two days um I think on the 5th of June, yeah, two days ago. And then um, Shongwan will be celebrating his birthday in the next uh, 10 days. So um, I think they're going to enjoy this whole um, birthday month, I mean, with their debut and then managing to score um, a goal or uh, two goals for the um, for Bafana Ofana. But remember, I think, um, Jakey, we have spoken about this um when it comes to Bafana Wafana, they mm-hmm. using the utilizing of younger players. Um, someone have asked that question to say that okay, why is um evidence Mahopa not a uh, playing not being selected for the under twenty three squad? But my question was like, no, he's fine where he is uh, within the Bafana Wafana squad. We need those players twenty years of age should be within Bafana mm-hmm. Wafana. Um, the under-23 under guys, I think we should talk about guys who are 17 years, um, maybe up until 20 years. But uh, 20, 21, 23 should be within the Bafana Wafana squad. And if we keep that momentum, I think we are likely to build a stronger team. And I mean, talking about those boys, uh, Mahopa, uh, Shongwani, and of course, Kutumela. Best combination. The combination has been good so far. And I could only imagine will happen if the likes of Keegan Dolly comes back, the likes of Pe- Pesita who comes through. Um, I think we are heading to a, the right direction, but still a long way. I think I think you raise a valid point. I think one one factor that I had a problem with, particularly in the first half, uh, we were, I think we were two defenders in the first half. Judging mm-hmm. from the starting 11, we started with six defenders and uh, you could see that uh, the team was really cautious to a certain extent. Then they try the level in the second half just to bring in more attacking players. And that's where we actually saw to see a glimpse of what to expect from uh, uh, the technical team, your your, your Herman and uh, and uh, Hugo Bruce as the, as the coach. And if I think if, if, if we introduce them more and more and more in, uh, in the next couple of games, I think Bafana could actually potentially surprise everybody in probably even make it to the World Cup in, 20, in, in Qatar. But the issue, as I said, for me, is the, it's the defense. I think we still need to fix that. Considering two goals against uh, a, um, a relatively uh, not so strong Ugandan side it was really disappointing. And one people were even asking questions with regards to our skipper of the day, that is uh, Ronan Williams. The goals that he conceded, they were re- rather re- uh, a little bit average for my liking because uh, particularly in the GSV Premiership this season, a lot of teams have really exposed them. So we need to fix that department also. So, but I quickly, think very quickly yeah, at that. Yeah. So, but looking at the game too, I think we it's a step in the right direction. Like I st- said a couple of weeks ago, like I rather fail with a young team like this than fail with dinosaurs. Honestly speaking, because then you can still develop those young players to reach that specific level. But if if this is how Hugo Bruce is gonna approach uh, the new dawn of Bafana Bafan, I'm I'm really, really excited. Super happy with it. Ty, yeah. yeah, man. Um, is this the Bafana Bafan that we are looking for? I don't know, man. I didn't watch the full game. Uh, I was in and out of Zoom meetings. Uh, I caught glimpses of the game, but I think it was absolutely good. That I'm just happy Bafana won something. Yes. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just happy we found a one. Uh, we'll fix the rest later. And I mean, it wasn't our strongest squad from what I saw in the starting eleven. We've had a few COVID issues, so I think we should be we should be good by the time um, we 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 playing in the World Cup qualifiers. So I think we should be sorted by then. But for now, I'm just happy that we won. Let me just keep mm. it at that. And Ace, we don't hate you, mm-hmm. Nick. But we only want five yeah. percent of your age group within the Wafana Fun Squad. <laughs> no, he's so what, 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 what? Five percent is a <laughs> lot, bro. Five percent is a lot. <laughs> no, but wait, 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 wait. Football is not about age. Mm. Mm-hmm. Football is it's about experience, and that experience, what that experience does in the field of play, or what that experience. Uh, produce during the game. I- I'll make an example of a Portugal team. Portugal team, they kept most of their senior players. Even Pepe is still playing at the age of 38 or 27, I believe. But they have blended with the youngsters who who are, are up and coming. The guy who's playing for Atletico Madrid, I just forget this. They are blending the team. That's what we need in South African football. Because even youngsters alone, they cannot do it uh, uh, alone. Because you need experience mm-hmm. to groom these youngsters, to show them the way. Don't bring experienced players who are dead or red. That's what mm-hmm. we've been killing us, South African mm-hmm. play, uh, uh, team. We, play, we bring experienced players who are dead or red, who cannot offer you anything. We are just there who... who with, uh, he's only bringing the name to the national team, but the board, they are, mm. they are, they are finished. So that's yeah. me. And I'm, 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 I want to uh, uh, say I'm with you a while on, uh, on the, uh, we just hear that Bafana Bafana won today. That's it. It's still right. anything that cannot comment. <laughs> we hear that right. Bafana Bafana won. That's me. I think. Can I, can I just move away from football for a little bit? And when I was doing my research on you, Ace, when you would see you a house for Ukok or through your foundation, the Ace Bengal Foundation, just tell us a little more, ask a little more about that. Let's talk a little about that. What, what inspired that? I mean, building a house is, is a big deal, you know? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a village boy. I grew up there, so my roots are there. I, I, I know what to born to him. I always say, when you've got something, Give the hand as well to those people who don't have anything. Louis, it's sorry for Lua Kok. Uh, she's a family fl- uh, friend. She just approached me when I was home and said, Tana, where I'm living, when it's raining, the rain comes inside. Can you please build a house? I said, mm. I hear you, Kok. Mm-hmm. And through God, he gave me strength to be able to build a house. So I always want to make difference, especially in rural areas. Uh, I'm the exemplary to those, uh, and I will say to those people who are from rural areas. Because when I, when even when I'm in bed, how knows? I, I always say, let me stay humble and make sure that I'm an example to each and everyone. Because some of the youngsters they don't get a chance to see a person who have made it in life. They think all of us. We are superstars. We, I don't know, say or say, but I'm going to say, but for me, I'm just a human being who is the same as a person who goes to construction <clears throat> in the morning and make sure he fix that road for other people to use on the yeah. daily basis. So that, that, that's me. So it was only giving back to Um Tom Tala or Tele Osiso. That's no, that's that's beautiful, man. I absolutely love that. I absolutely truly love that. Man, you know what I'm fit? You've played for so many teams in the PSL, TTM, Real Kings, uh, Super Sport, Tandarel, Zulu. Which coach would you say was your favorite and brought the best out of Ace? <laughs> Which coach? Uh, I would say to uh, Tamim Guban at uh, Tandarel, Zulu. Because that's where my record still shows, even when you check my profile, that's the most top goal scorer for an FC with 24 goals in a season. Yeah. So even now, the boys, they cannot break the 
record, so I say it's coming over. Mm, I know, it's a record that's still standing. Hi, ah, congrats on that one. <laughs> Congrats on that one. It's coming, Gubani, and I won't forget Kramali Park. That guy helped me so much to, to be a matured player in terms of uh, national setup. He helped me a lot. Mm. No, that's beautiful, man. That's absolutely beautiful. You scored a brace against Kaza Chiefs during your career, ne? and there were talks about you are the next Benny Mankati. How do you handle the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> we handle it like that. No, for, for me, no, it, it, it's simple. I always keep it real and simple that I'm aging. For me, no, given an opportunity, I'll make sure which I go on. That's me. If Google says, I will say thank you. If Google will be, I will take it as a compliment and make sure that I will give it more hard, which I call me in days. Yeah, I know. That's what's up. That's what's up. And Manje, as a free agent, so how are you keeping fit? How are you making sure that everything is in place in case you want a telephone call like Sasa but hey, come play for us? <laughs> uh, for now, because uh, uh, we closed with Pondo Chiefs, I think last month on the uh, 23rd. So after that, I just gave myself a 10 days off completely from football, not watching football, not training, not doing anything. So this week I just started uh, joking, and then I do uh, 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 Zumba on the internet. So Monday is joking, Tuesday is Zumba, Wednesday is joking, like tomorrow is joking again. Uh, that's me for now, just taking it easy. And then if there's any call that comes through, I'm, 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 I'm ready, guys. I'm ready. It's all about all right. the no, that's dope. That's, that's dope. that's dope. That's dope. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, Chiefs talk, is looking for talk, strikers right now, so <laughs> expect that call. <laughs> talking about <laughs> Kaza, I'm waiting for that call, eh? <laughs> talking, t- t- talking about calls, ne? If um, well, um, well, we know that it's a different TTM, but if you are if TTM uh cheaper or Swallows decide to call you back, would you go back? And which one would you choose out of the three? Oh, oh, that's simple. Oh, 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 when uh, I was a top goal scorer at uh, Thunder Rolls, I said, okay, Chief, listen here. Boys, it's simple. You want me? Pay me one million up front. Go. Then you will be able, you will give me 5,000 for, for accommodation every month. So in that way, you won't bother each other. You know why I say that? <laughs> because when they chased me away, they didn't give me my money. So we had to go and fight through TRC for me to get my money. So I didn't want to go through that process again. Give me one million, then give me a contract. Good pleasure, I'll come and play for you. <laughs> so even now, if people say they want me, I'll say it's fine. Pay me a front, then I go and play for you. Good pleasure. But, and go <laughs> go through and make sure we are not down there. Uh, a whole million I, up front, I respect that. When I easy, you know, go, you know, you're not, you're not going to be going back to um, Salus. You're going to Naturen. Yeah. Bex is gonna call. Kawara. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for that call. <laughs> speaking, about Naturen, that call. speaking about Naturen, speaking about Naturen, what are your thoughts on Stuart Baxter coming back? I mean, it's not 15 anymore. The squad has changed completely. Is Chiefs gonna sign? What's going on in Naturen? I'm sure you can update us. Um, look, <laughs> Jake is laughing. Um, well, first of all, um, well, I welcome his come his well is coming back, and I think I was listening to his interview when he was being interviewed by um, um who's this guy? I, I was like, why? What's happening here right now? Um, <laughs> well, there was, was there so was, awkward, was, man. Look, <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> but um, I, I think his apology was something that was sincere. You could tell or no. Well, it is coming from the heart and. You know, not oh, a lot of people. Wow. I, I, not, not a lot of people can say that. 
<laughs> said so um well and i mean having to say that it was a stupid comment you could tell or no eh, he agrees or no he made a stupid comment and a very dumb comment and definitely i think he had learned from that comment and i mean there's still issues when it comes to the comment that he has made and i think there's He's, he's still got a long way to to build the trust, especially within the history of South Africa when it comes to um, the issues of rape. And st- I mean, he still has to build that trust when it comes to the South African people. But having him um, going back to Kiza Chiefs, I think I think it's going to be a, 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 a major boost. Um, hopefully, maybe the glory days might come back again. Well, will Chiefs win a silver medal? Yes, I think so. Next season, um, hopefully <laughs> they can. <laughs> hopefully a triple. Hopefully a triple. Hopefully maybe win the M10 Eight, win a DSTV Premiership, and win the NetBank Cup. And of course, I mean, <laughs> care if I can get this season, we'll take it this season. Let me let me ask you a question, <laughs> Mahal. Uh, I mean, let me actually throw this on to Jackie. Now we've seen this movie before. Stuart Baxter's very, 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 very first game at Kaza Chiefs. Was an MTN eight game against Mumbai oh, hmm. and it was four one. And we see history repeat itself. Are we gonna see the same movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I wanna, oh, don't don't. That's gonna happen. Yeah, but don't say it because if I remember, uh, ne, they lost four one, and I think they ended up winning the league title that same season. They did. They did. So don't don't. But I think you know you know what the problem with, I have with Chiefs is one thing. Chiefs and Nankar, hey, Chiefs is like Abarati, they like to move on. It's, it's like when you're involved in a relationship, you just constantly go back to your ex. You mean, a, you mean an abusive made an relationship? Job. An abusive, abusive toxic. relationship. Toxic. <laughs> Why did he leave in the first place? That's, that's the first you should ask yourself. Why did he leave in the first place? If he's an incredible coach, he left in the first place because of management. So what makes mm. you think that it's going to change now? And also bear in mind, before they even um, made an announcement that Stuart Bex was going to be the new coach, they already signed nine players there. The same problem mm. that they did with, the same thing that they did with, uh, uh, before they actually hired, um, uh, come on, Steve Compella. Mm. Yeah, they signed nine, they signed nine players. And now the question remains, okay, fine. He, was he even was he was Stuart Bex even involved with uh, with regard to the signing of those players? No, because those were players from um, Gavin Hunt. And I was even telling a friend earlier today that one of the biggest problems in South African football, I'm sure even Ace will also agree, is that um, most teams are not patient with their coaches. They mm-hmm. they want instant results. And you may find that Chiefs might actually do well this season and actually win it, uh, potentially win a trophy this season. But that problem won't change in a season. It needs mm. to be resolved in a specific period. And that's where you see the likes of Sandown. Sandown, they, they were patient enough with Pitom Simani such an extent that they constantly started dominating the league title, um, the South African football. That's why now Downs is in a good position. They don't even have to do a lot in order for them to actually start comp- to actually compete in South African football because they have been they have been um, preparing themselves for the past five to ten se- ten seasons. Ne? Being patient with Peter Simon, being patient with, with the development of their players, development of the team. That's why you see Downs is in a great position like this. Chiefs, on the other hand, it's not the case. They don't want to sign quality players. They don't want to spend money. That's the first thing. And there's just a lot of meddling. And it's a big problem for me. It's a big, big problem. Because now, even if they bring uh, Pep Guardiola tomorrow at Kaiser Chiefs, I don't see anything changing. So with regards to the Baxter returning at Kaiser Chiefs, it may change the mood, uh, on, uh, mood yeah, the players, yes. But after two, three seasons, are we going to say we're fine? Chiefs is now going to compete with Mamelodi Sundowns. I don't think so. I think um, they're going to go back to the old ways and they're going to fall behind because even if Chiefs wins the league this next season, then what's going to happen the, the season after? Downs is going to mm. continue dominating. You get me? So 
teams need to learn to plan for the future. That's why Downs, even Peter said it when he was at Sundowns, that the plan is that Downs must get La Decima by this mm. specific season. Downs must get a second star by this specific... Mm. That is... that You plan. You get me? Mm. So it seems as if they don't know anything about planning. Uh, only at Tour Cop, they know how, how about planning. So, 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 for me, it's more of we want to fix the problem now just because, because the, there's a lot of pressure from the fans because of the memorandum. We want to fix the problem now. So, let's keep the fans very quiet. You could also see that with the way in which they responded to the memorandum or whatever. Chiefs don't take their fans serious. So, mm. I, I, <sighs> And why does he have to come back when after 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 Pito Pito left? You see, it's been Baxter. <laughs> the problem. And, he, and, and 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 he left, he left India there. He left he, he was he was losing to cricket players. He comes back to Russian <laughs> football. <laughs> this is the same guy who 14 games in India, lost only one one game in India. Yeah. A league that is way below par as opposed to South African, the South African league. Deshi so, Bakta was dominating that league right now. <laughs> exactly. So, oh, guys, come on. And now, mm. oh, but if, if, if next season Chiefs win the league title, ah, yeah, yeah, guys, I'll be disappointed. I think, uh, to be honest, they'll have to. I wonder if, 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 if them Taungs now have a plan in place, they're going to fight. We're gonna spend more. We're not gonna rely. We're not gonna get free agents. We're gonna um, spend a lot of money. Maybe the money that we get from the Cap Champions League and buy maybe four or five quality players to compete next season. Then we can yeah. say, then fine, Chiefs is going to do something. But mm. you are not gonna win league titles with a certain striker at Swallows. You know that striker. Yeah, <laughs> you know those strikers. <laughs> Yes, yes, you know that. Yes, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Mark, when you talk about planning, Jake, you're making me think of a certain man in Abeja. Like, hey, that man needs to listen to this podcast and start feeling bad. Hi, boom, boom. Manje, Ace, I'm telling you, when a, who's who's taking, who's taking the league according to you next season? When you're looking at the current teams, the way the signings are going, I mean, Sundowns is Franco all the way from uh, Poland or Slovakia. Who's Slovakia. winning the league according to you, Ace? I for me, I I I, I still I still see Sundowns because of their planning and the signings that they have done. You must understand that Sundowns have got a pool of good players, despite mm-hmm. Shalulile and Serino. They still other players who are good. Uh, I'm talking about Magaman, the guy from uh, what Ajax Cape Town. Yeah, that guy is young. He still uh, wants his chance. He's still gonna get his chance. So mm. I still see Sundowns dominating, but other teams, nah. Because uh, my <laughs> other team, I would say, is Super Sport. But Super Sport, uh, because of their financial crisis, they are, they are selling bully, they are selling table form. Coins. So even them, it will be hard to place those uh, youngsters who are showing so much potential. Mm. So uh, truly speaking, uh, I see Sundowns. Still dominating South Africa. Oh, hey, what about Escotis Kama Minzela? Nah, love why. There's confusion <laughs> there. <laughs> Even then, they are confused themselves. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, hey, hey. Growing up, hey. hey. Ola. Uh, Ola. Growing up, now which team did you support? That's Ola the the <laughs> so you know I'm what I'm I mean. I'm a father. <laughs> Uh, I, parents, parents, I think I have spoken enough about it. Uh, now you know how I feel care. about parents. I don't uh, need to talk about parents anymore. There's no need. Even uh, them, they're not sure if they are coming or going. Uh, <laughs> but it's so it's it's so weird. The past two three seasons, parents literally wait for the last ten games to start performing. Like the whole season, they're not performing. They're relaxed. They're chilling there by fifth or sixth. Jiggy jiggy, last two, three games, people are going for second and third. Like, hi, confusion era, now I can understand. I really don't understand what's wrong. 
Uh, is the coach the problem? Is cause of the problem? I mean, they did go on a spending spree. They brought in real quality players. Marasti, they struggling. No, no, no. no. But the problem is that it's not the coach who buys the players that he needs. I mean, but to make is the team that are buying <laughs> players for the coach. So if those players are not fitting in the style of a coach, like for instance, Stuart Baxter. He's got certain players that he needs, but if already team mm-hmm. nine players that they were wanted by Kevin Hunt, mm-hmm. Kevin Hunt, mm-hmm. you know what type of football he likes to play, crosses and the balls must fly high. But sure, the sure back that a different story. The ball ground, the one where a whole players will work box to box. Doesn't mean if he's a striker or a defender, but he must be able to put in a wooden problem cause them none on your way. So that kind of player, the Stuart Baxter was. But already Chief has signed nine players that were recommended by Kevin Hunt. So what Stuart must do now with those nine players? Must play them. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, and then it, 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 he will get yeah. results. Will he get results <laughs> with those players? No, no. It's raised a good point. I think we've, we've, we've told on this on numerous occasions. I think. It's, 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 a, it's a South African problem in most clubs. Mm-hmm. You find that team managers, ne? and I'm, I'm emphasizing team managers by the players. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and we all, like, like, uh, like I always tell you guys, in Europe we have managers, not coaches. Yes. Mm-hmm. Managers are in charge of buying players, releasing players, the tactics and so forth. In South African mm. football, we have got coaches mm. who are involved uh, with regards to the tactics and so forth. So only specific teams there and there, I can even mention them. Your Sundowns, your Golden Arrows, your Cape Town City, and your Amazon in this season, where the manager, the person who leads the team, buys the players. They go to the board of directors and tell them, you know what, Ned? because this is my philosophy. I want mm. this kind of player. Mm. You get me? Mm. And I always, uh, a, a classic example before Pito left. In fact, when Pito won those uh, three league titles, ne? by towards the end of the season, he already had a list of players that he mm. wants for next season. That list would have gone to the board of directors of Mamelodi Sundowns. They will have a budget for Pitom Simon. They will find this is the players that we're going to get next, uh, for, uh, for, for, for the next season and so forth. And that's why by the time he left, those players, the likes of um, um, George Malulek, the likes of uh, Mudiba, uh, Magaman and so forth came into the picture. You get me? And if you look at the, uh, the big teams in South African football, particularly Chiefs and Pirates, Ace is right. Those teams, ne, the, 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 the management, ne, if you look at Pirates, mm. it's that, that, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, mm. that one was always at the, uh, yeah, always there at the stadium, uh, talking, mm. to, uh, yeah, talking to the former skipper of what Pirates. Scream, yeah, scream, what scream, what scream. Yeah, what scream. It's always screaming. It's very much audible. <laughs> that is the one who... <laughs> that is the one who buys the players. And you ask yourself, well, why does Pirates have a lot of uh, uh, players in one position? They have close to five, six players mm. in one position. You're like, what the hell is going on? Mm. And I don't know if, 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 if Jay-Z is not confused. That's what I'm doing. Sometimes we're talking about this four, five on the bench. We're talking about the bench. What is happening? <laughs> Then you've got um, Kaiser Chiefs ne, who do not want to spend. Instead, because they want to save money, they will go and they will go to uh, our neighboring countries there in uh, Harare. But I want to get one <laughs> love more. I from Rose, Mang Mang, and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> or they can love go to <laughs> Mozambique and they try and. <laughs> By players, who Andre, Mang Mang Mang, yes, Anu, yeah, that one. So they do not want to spend. Instead, they want to save. They want to uh, save money. 
And you ask yourself, why save money? Because football has changed. In order for you to actually um, compete uh, in modern football, you need to spend more. The likes of mm. City have shown that. The likes of PSG mm. have shown that. The likes of Bayern have mm. shown that. Downs is doing the same thing right now. But now they're still living in the past, man. You can't be telling us about 1980-something. We're not dominated. It's unnecessary. And that, that same problem now is going to is really affect the development of South Africa, of Bafana Bafana in particular. That's another factor that we don't understand. If the mm. likes of Chiefs, Sanders, and Pirates don't perform, Bafana won't perform. You get me? Mm. Mm. That's why I was like, you know what? They might as well just go and take Players just and us, all of them going to represent Bafana Bafana. That, the that's what I want. Do not, they don't want to um, reach that level. You get me? Mm-hmm. And that's why I wanna, like, I'm grateful in this sense that Chiefs actually reached uh, the semi finals of the Champions League. In particular, ne? no, 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 no. For specific players, the young players, they Bro. were exposed. Yes, they were exposed. Over on the Chiefs, they are, they are grooming those players in that regard or. When we are ready uh, at your copy, you can just go and just cash a, send a check to Mutaung or Infe to. We want this kid. Mwabo must come to Sundowns. You get me? Because next season, Akira Chiefs won't be playing the Champions League. So Mwabo would, wanna, would want to now start to, to, to yeah, expose yeah. himself more and more and more in the Champions League. And that is the only way. So Ace is very much correct when he says that uh, allow the coach, um, allow the man in charge to buy the players. And uh, mm. if, you, if you do that, he will not have an excuse. And if you allow him, if, 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 you, if you are patient with him, ne, mm. then the team will start performing. And the, we've seen that with Kaiser Chiefs, that they are not patient. And I understand that Chiefs is a big club. They want instant results. But guys, if you are patient, ne, you, you know what to find in the next two, three, five seasons, you'll be building a machine. That's why mm. down right now, Down, down just have to just um, mend or I remember just mend small and errors from last season. Then they know what to find. We are prepared for next season. You get me? I but get you. now, I get you. Pirates and Chiefs need to go, go back to the drawing board every single season. Mara, and also, Mara, yeah. Mara, Mara, Jackie, hold on. Whatever happened to Alana Pirates' development? I mean, remember there was that group here, Lebo Gifli Remy, Lebo Hamokwena, Excellent Walaza. Benechenene from their development. That squad was amazing. Why can't they mm-hmm. still churn them out? Is Augusto Palacios old now? Is he retired? What's well, a Halaga mm-hmm. development apparently? They the best development in the country at some point. Ah, it's one thing. Makarilla one billion from Voda. Makarilla one billion from Voda. Then they said, you know what? It's no longer important. It's no longer important mm-hmm. anymore. Good. The issue is money, man. I think we, 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 South Africa, uh, I'm like, football in the continent is led by uh, greedy people. Man. Mm. It's led by greedy You're people. Right. Greedy people who do not want to, no longer want to develop the sport. That's the problem. And mm. that's why one thing I love about uh, Petrus Mutsepe. A- and when he left for CAP, I knew what was down this state for life. It will take, hey, it will take something for Downs actually just to go, to drop the ball from now on. Because I always compare Sundowns to City. There was a time when City was just a small and team, unknown in there. But now look at them, they're up there. You get what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 so. I think at Pirates, it's more of, they don't want um, marking the Nagi. They just got too many things happening at Pirates. And, uh, and also bear in mind that Pirates is, 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 is led by oldies, man. Mm. Get me? Mm. Yeah. Uh, Augusto Palacio is an incredible, an incredible person, an incredible coach. But now, look at the age. He needs to have... I, I, I thought by now they, they would have probably um, groomed somebody, could have groomed somebody to take over from him. You get what I mean? Yes. Uh, the same way at 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 uh, at um, but uh, the same way Faruka when Faruka left Kaiser Chiefs, Chiefs just Chiefs development completely just vanished. Do you realize that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, it, it was more of they did not 
they don't, they don't want these young ones to come into the picture and actually help improve uh, uh, or help develop their teams or help develop South African football because I guess that maybe it's because of money or what. But if if they don't do that, they will constantly see the same problem. If you look at the team like Golden Arrows, for example, Arrows last season, they didn't sign any players. All the players are from the MDC. But look mm. at how they reached, uh, they, they, they did very well last season uh, and, and in fourth place. If, yeah, is it fourth place? I think, yeah, fourth place. Yeah, it's fourth place. It, it, it's the indication. Of, and remember, Golden, uh, Golden Arrows, I think if they, I, I think Mahal will probably agree with me. I think they won the, the first MDC um, tournament, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they won the first MDC tournament. Those crop of players are now playing what? in, yeah, are now playing in the DSTV Premiership and they, they're performing. You get me? So, they, uh, sometimes money is a problem. Hey, it's a tricky one. But I have to take a challenge with these people. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't want to talk too much. Give... I'm going yeah. to end up saying things Boros, that I'm not supposed Boros, to say. Man. But what I, are you I, mean, money I, for? I, 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 I agree with you, Jakey. And another thing you would look at, let's look at the, um, is it the Hollywood um, League? Yeah, the Women's League. Ne? Mm-hmm. Where is Keza Chiefs uh, women's team? Where is Orlando Pirates women's team? Why Ili Orlando? Uh, Where's the Ili rugby Mamdoli team? Sam- what happened to the rugby team? They don't even go to the women's team. Where's the rugby team? Kara, they had a rugby team. Hey, Jabo, hey, Mo. Rugby team. You know, I, 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 well, yeah, Jiggy. Mahou, if you want your answer ne, with regards to the women team at Kaiser Chiefs, just look at your memorandum. The response to your memorandum, you have your answer. Mm. <laughs> no, but I get to give it to What did they say? Uh, I'm adding a point on you to say that, okay, you are you're absolutely right because, I mean, let's look at the women's league and, and look at the, um, the teams here. We believe that they're bigger teams, both Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando mm-hmm. Pirates, uh, Sundowns. The, the only team that's there on women's league, yeah, um, Mam Lady Sundowns. We don't have Orlando Pirates. Where are they? Where are they? And Sundowns just keeps winning this thing and every season. I was about to say, oh. and they won undefeated mm. last season. You know, hmm. I mean, but you know, there's that saying, Bekele Beke. That's the Sundowns women's team. You already know the result before the game even starts. Uh. We need competition. <laughs> we need competition. <laughs> And I think I'd really love to see what Baxter brings. I really feel like the PSL needs competition now. Sundowns are it too easy, man. I mean, 40 titles in a row. Come on. That's there's no competition in the PSL anymore. We need well, guys, stronger um, teams. There's a saying that say lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. So you won't get the DSCV premiership it, again. It strikes four uh, times <laughs> at the same time. I'm, 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 oh. I'm, <laughs> in I'm oh. emphasizing ah, yeah. the DSTV premiership. Wow. I've emphasized the DSTV premiership. So forget about the other ones. Let's talk about the DSTV premiership. You got ah. it the first time. Forget yes. it. Yeah, just because it's in Chile, Lina. I tell you, no more. Why control, man? I rather control, man. Okay. Ace, Ace, Ace. Yeah. Ace, you've 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 played with in the Glad Africa Champions League, ne? Mm. And I mean, I have two questions for you. And the first question is, I mean, the trophy, the Glad African Champions League trophy, doesn't have a home up until today. I mean, the last game was played. We even forget the date that when was the last game played. But the trophy hasn't found its 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 the respectful home. Mm. Uh, so I mean, is this drama as? This drama been happening within the league. Only we realize it. Only we see it now. Where now there's an issue of um, having to award a trophy and um, I think a promotion to a certain team. What what has been happening? What's what's really happening within the Glade Africa Championship? And secondly, would be, do you see Black Leopard serve a different league now, where we have seen teams going down to the Glade Africa Championship and not failing. coming back up? If, uh, I'll start with your second question. For so Black Leopard, uh, it's, it, it's easy. They've been on that road a couple of times. They're like Jomo Cosmos. So for them, going to NFC and come back again with Black Leopard. I'm done with Black Leopard. And the, 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 the trophy, it's simple. NFC, give, give it to Mamkees. They deserve it. Even when we take the lock, 
let's say they've got 59, 51 points and the others have got 50. So it's clearly it's Kukun and they must go for the playoff. This team is the case doesn't help. When I ace, when I ace, when I ace, what, no, ace wait, when I watch, we need some Kaya Wako. No, he deserves it. They won it on points. The points are showing. Mohawi, well, you must remember, uh, with uh, TTM, when we went to the playoff, there was a case in our last member, Mohawi. Mm-hmm. We took out an under-23 before the match. Uh, I think it was during the 90th minute. So we were left with one under-20 on the, uh, on the park. So the game finished. We were playing against 14. So it's putting mm-hmm. they put a case that we uh, we were left with one under twenty three. The matters went to a TRC and the TRC they find us. They didn't take the points. We still went to qualify mm-hmm. for for the playoff. They find us. So even now with Kukun, with the case of Polo Kwan, because they put uh, four under in the field of play and play the whole match with them. Find the team. Don't take the points. Find the team because you did M. So now, what's the difference now? Because it's the same thing. Mm. That, that's for no. me. Award it to the one who is in first. Give them the not the fake metal, but the, the, the real metal and the, mm. <laughs> the, the real truth. So, so, I mean, the question is does this thing happen on purpose or is it mistaken? Um, the team tends to make a mistake to say, ah, guys, we are playing with only four under 23 instead of five. Do, do teams make this on purpose or is it just a mistake, Jay? I, I think it's a mistake. Uh, uh, <laughs> for me, it's a mistake. But it's a mistake that it's within the team. Because I'll take you back just a while with my melody Sunshine last year with uh, Langerman. Langerman. Yes. The guy, even him, he knew that he had four yellow cards, but they put him in the team, and they even wanted to introduce the game. But okay. is this, what kind of a mistake is that? You know, I, I think I'm not surprised. Me. Let me okay. Let me put on my legal hat right now. Yeah, I think let's put it like that. I think we should we should we should, we should read the rule itself. The rule. Rule 35.2 of the NSL mm. handbook says that <laughs> ne, clubs point. participating in the second tier must include a minimum of five players who are both under 23 and eligible to represent South Africa on the team sheet. Mm. A minimum of two under 23 must be on the field of play at all times during a match. Ne? That's what it says. Now, the, the, the arbitrator in that case gave an order, gave an award. That award granted the Kukuni three points, right? Yeah. Now, now it, it, it goes back to the thing. And I, Ace, I understand where he's coming from because he's saying it as a layman and anything mm-hmm. generally. But now the rule of law says that nobody's above the law. Yeah. And I get mm-hmm. the fact that he mentions the point of Mamelodi Sundowns, the, the whole situation of the Ned Cup final. But that is totally different because Celtic failed. They failed to alert the referee yeah, before yeah. the game. And that's what the rule says. Mm-hmm. You get me? Mm-hmm. So I think him saying, okay, A saying then fine, we should um, allow we should allow Royal AM to play in the uh, yes, and based on the lock standings. Né? I get what he's saying, but at the same time, we should not forget that the rules are rules. And if tomorrow the court decide otherwise and say, fine, the um, Tukukuni should be granted the three-point or the, the award that is, that is in, in, in place right now is, 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 is being granted as a final order. We can't say on, all of a sudden that Polokwan City did not know about the rule. They were aware of the rule. They've mm. been applying the rule throughout the whole season. Except that specific game, they can't argue all mm-hmm. of a sudden that they they did not know about the rule. And also bear in mind, Polokwane City only only lost an application after the award was given. You guys knew that, right? Yeah. The only uh, Mara... lost an application after Mara the, the award was given. Yeah. Jakey, I see all these laws, ne? 
ne na just want andi lembi sana sha patrick against kaza chiefs that's all i want to see happen <laughs> yeah, but, 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 no, no. but the lord but the lord is what the lord is what like you know you know i think the, the the best solution now for me the best solution if to be fair if 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 that award is granted as a final order maybe the psl should think of maybe uh making it 18 teams then once why not bring once. back 18 but, teams yeah. But it still goes back to who is the winner of the glad because obviously someone will say that no Lina I want the trophy I want that money I was yeah. supposed to no, be number one yeah. the winner the winner is gonna the winner is obviously going to be Sikuku you know mm. what I'm saying is going ah. to be Sikuku because I can't remember Royal AM one of they are complaining the fact that um and one of the only party because uh, they want to win the trophy but and they I, have no and again, direct I, interest yeah. I think when you you are, you are correct to say that okay real I am I think the reason why they're also complaining to remain on number one, they know for a fact that if they go to the playoff they are likely not to win those playoffs so they just want to, they want they won't win they they, they, they want win, the automatic win. promotion yeah. they want to avoid playoffs <laughs> with all cost because they know that they won't have that uh, like they don't have the momentum to to go through There's no so, faith in Royal AM here. Hey? There's no faith in all in Royal AM. Hey, give Andy Lebisani. Let him come to the PS. Azale <laughs> bolo la man. No man. No man. I want I want the drama. Because it's it's been, it's been going on for too long. But I I think it goes it's back to what you're saying. That the problem is we have idiots who are running this whole thing no. and That's failing. Failing to uh, yeah, read the rule book because I mean you have the rule book which is quite clear. If it says black, it says black. If it says white, it says white. Why have you failed to take those decisions? Now you will have uh, Bluegrass City taking advantage of um, your lack of clarity um, or taking those decisions. Where Bluegrass City will file a court uh, order come Monday after the league has closed the game. Hello, Anna, guys. You, uh, did you guys uh, okay let me put it like this in your guys opinion yeah, why do you think the arbitrator awarded um uh, well, awarded the the the, 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 the thing cooking you with three points why so what the, the, the main, like, I remember, exactly yes. and also remember guys yeah, i can remember an arbitration is not is not necessarily a court of law and the rules mm. of the nso is that Usually, they don't. They wanna. They want to make sure that all disputes ne, end are solved within the DC. Yeah, and within the working the 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 the, the PSL itself, it's got fixed mm-hmm. court. If it's got fixed court, you know, it's going to cause a lot of problems. You get me? Now, mm-hmm. because of rise and shine, one of our our words again. No, no, this uh, deduction of three points is going to affect us somehow. I don't know mm. why all of a sudden are they are, are they saying that because they did not say anything to the PSO discipline committee during the entire arbitration itself. You see, because now they're saying what well, fine the arbitrator uh, Hilton Epstein now uh, is is go- contradicting himself and so forth. So it's gonna be interesting. Me as a legal practitioner, I, I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen. It's going to help us some of us. Oh, well, I'm enjoying that in that league. <laughs> <laughs> Because when this issue started, I think Blue and City were like, "Fine, I think we made a mistake, Rashab." And then the third point was awarded to Skukun. All of a sudden, it was withdrawn. All of a sudden, now Blue and City has a, a court case, the filing a court case. Yeah, date here yeah, Monday after two days after the league has closed. I mean, you could tell all this whole drama, Jay. It doesn't make sense and. I think they should have taken this decision a long time ago. Even the decision that they've taken, Yao Fasu Kune three points, it was fine because they, even the league wasn't even close. So I mean, even if Royal Ames had won the game, the last game, and Sukune had lost the last game, it was gonna be fine. No, no, Royal Ames has won the league, and then Sukune will be playing to will be um, in the playoffs. Play playing the playoffs. But now, because of the back and forth, or we don't know if there are some EFT flying air rovets or what. Catch, 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 send. 
working PSL and error to let us mean it. This thing, like, like the Serena yeah. issue. This thing was like the way Aaron's issue long time ago. What? Like the Doro issue. Like the Doro issue again with Alex. All right, gents, we need to wrap up now. We need to wrap up. We need to wrap up with, 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 with Jackie. Oh. <laughs> Jackie, give me a last thoughts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay oh um last thought um okay i don't even know what to say anymore because well, i've said a lot a big game i think the the u.s starts tomorrow um, i'm yeah. looking forward to that i know that uh the first game i think italy is playing again tomorrow <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I said a lot tomorrow today. if i'm mistaken mm, yeah you. i've said a lot so uh, i'm looking forward to that and the cricket also Turkey. i know that it's the second day of uh, sure yes. can you guys hear me yeah can you guys hear me now yeah, oh, yeah, Italy is playing against um, Turkey. Yeah, Italy is playing against Turkey tomorrow in the first game of the Euro 2020. Looking forward to that. Um, the then I'm gonna be uh, uh, keeping my close eye to uh, the thingy cricket. The the Portuguese is playing against the West Indies. I think it's day two tomorrow of the first mm. test. So looking forward to that. Yeah, man. And uh, despite that, it's going to be a very very busy weekend for some of us. Hey, hey you know this thing of sports. Uh, it, it can't be too much but I think it's going to be a football football weekend for me mm. and then Ace um, last thought and maybe the issue on the Euro 2020 uh, uh, for me James uh, I'm honoured to be part of your show uh, today it's uh, been wonderful to interact with you and then going to Euro is it's all about learning for me as a player and beyond being a player it's all about it's always good to, to watch those uh, European players giving their best because that's what they, they produce. So for me, I, I believe I, I believe Germany are the one to win the Euro season because mm. of uh, the best players they, they have at the moment of Germany. I, I believe they are strong competitors. So they, that's for me. But yeah, yeah. Football, football all the way. I'm with you there. The man shaft, mm-hmm. Papa. The man shaft. Wow. Your, your closing thoughts? Um, <laughs> on the issue of Euro, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of first round. Yeah, I hate those <laughs> first round thing. As long as England go, I don't know why I have a soft spot guy England, <laughs> even though <laughs> even though the team is oh, so you're, you're setting I, yourself up for failure, Mahal. I, like, I don't know why I have, a, I have a soft spot for England, but it doesn't have that <laughs> thing. And I think also with cricket as well, West Indies hosting um, South, uh, South Africa, and um, South Africa are currently trailing by 23 runs um, with eight wickets. And the first day has been um, is done and dusted, I believe, yeah. Um, so tomorrow but apart from that on sunday the uh, moto gp grand prix the german grand prix, um i think it's going to be the first um um grand prix that will have uh, spectators they saying that they will um accommodate spectators um within that grand prix so it's happening this sunday but yeah all in all yeah um, yeah i think that's, that's it regards for me as long as i see killing I cry, I'm happy. I've said this before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that boy. <laughs> as long as France gets knocked out, I'm good. I'm happy. Mannschaft Germany has my full support. And like, subscribe, find us on all platforms. The Banter Club SA. You know what I mean? I literally one of the best podcasts in South Africa at this point in time. Maha, what is the WhatsApp number if you want to get in touch? Um, 0649000947. It's 0649947. And I think we have a voice note, but um, probably we might play it next week. So keep on sending those voice notes and yeah, they are fun to listen to. That's what's up, man. Ace, thank you very much for joining us, bro. Appreciate it. Pleasure, my brothers. Ah, it's a pleasure. Chance, the banters. Sabonga Jackie, Sabonga Mahal. Shop, shop. For sure. Till, till next week. Cheers. Thank you. Join us every week on the Banter Club. <laughs>